I found another item that apparently I need to clean. Um, didn't really occur to me before. But I kind of took the screwdriver in these corners real quick and yeah. <laughs> apparently the flywheel was in the mud too along with everything else on this car. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Real simple. Um, really shouldn't be much to this. I've been painting a couple of, repainting a couple of brackets, painting some pulleys. Um, the back side here, hopefully this isn't too full of dirt. I do all that other balancing and then I go and uh, attach this to the engine and this thing is all messed up. Um, that ain't going to help. So we'll make sure that this thing is, doesn't have any extra weight and dirt on it. Inspected the teeth, everything seems to be okay. I never had any real problems with my starter at all. Um, so everything appeared to be in good shape. It has a little chamfer on the, the start of the, of the tooth, just a little bit. Um, but not, not anything more that I would expect. So um, she look, appears to be in good shape. So we're going to clean this guy off and be one last part to clean before I put the engine back together. I'm going to leave that sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to go put my gloves on and we'll see how well that cleans up. Well, this stuff does not have the fumes. Yeah, this one actually smells good. Hopefully it works just as good. The other one was an off-brand heavy-duty oven cleaner. And this, this one is name brand, Easy Off. Tell you what, it smells a lot better. Let's see if it works just as good. Oh, look at that. Right down to the metal. Or paint or whatever is under here. Wow, I did not know that was under there. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. Okay, just the towels. There we go. Wow. Well, this stuff in the corner here is uh, looks kind of goofy, but it's actually welds. There is some dirt still, we'll get that out though. But boy, that made quick work of that. Sure looks like that was painted. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want any bare metal, I don't want any rust. Um, so I will hit that with uh, a Rust-Oleum. Probably hit it with that high temp paint, that black high temp paint I was using. The uh, oven, what was it? Uh, high heat grill paint. Uh, that should hold up really well and just keep, uh, keep it from deteriorating. Oh boy, yeah, that did a really nice job. Hardly any work for that at all. Picked up a couple new wire brushes at Northern Tool. Perfect for what I'm doing here. Throw them away when I'm done. Or when they're, you know, when they're longer useful, I won't even feel bad because they're not very expensive. Came in a two-pack.
looking pretty good. Looking good. Like I say, I'll give this thing a nice wipe down. Clean. I'll put it on some clean cardboard. There's already a good coat of paint under this. And it hasn't rusted in 50 years. So I'm sure she'll be fine. But as long as I'm doing it, might as well clean it up. All right. So I set up a little hanger here. Um, Dollar that. I'm hoping this will keep it vertical. I don't think I'm actually going to hang it, hang it. I think I'm just going to support it. Because the bottom doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, because the top part of this is uh, really not supported very well. Well, I don't want to drop it either. Let me see. You know, I think I'm going to crawl up there with the ladder and give uh, give my little support thing a, a better attachment. Okay, so she is hanging a little, little bit up, which is fine. Which means now that once I get, um, once this is dry and I start painting, um, I can get both sides without any issues. Let me wipe that down a little bit more. Not only to dry it, but uh, clean it. Okay, it's time to get this thing painted. Uh, engine enamel, nope. I heat paint, yep. I don't need the teeth painted, just getting the main surfaces. Just so she stays nice for another 52 years. Looks good. Spin her around. No, she doesn't want to go that way. How about this side? She's not wanting to spin here. <laughs> Pretty stiff wire here and she uh, wants to stay a certain orientation. Just let me get you painted. You can go back to the way you like to be. There we go. Really only need one coat there, the factory coat was still on there. That's way more than I needed to do. I should be good for now. Um, like I said, I've been painting some other things. Uh, you know, painting some of the pulleys. Um, I've got some other pulleys down here that I painted, the harmonic balancer. I uh, got that cleaned up. Um, Little little bit of everything. Um, didn't get as much done this weekend as I wanted. Spent a little uh, little bit of time with the grandkids and the family. I'll get back to it. Um, start, I kind of need to make a plan for some of the next stuff I need to do. Uh, but we'll get there. Uh, thanks again for everybody that's been subscribing and watching, uh, watching the videos. I appreciate the comments. Um, if you get a chance, uh, share it with some friends. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyway, um, we'll, we'll keep working on this Pontiac 400. We'll get her all back together and in good shape. And again, uh, thanks to everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.